Well, Indiana is in the bottom 10 states to live according to a CNBC report, and some reporting out water quality is an additional issue plaguing Hoosiers. So the state has a significant amount of polluted waterways affecting drinking and recreation. News aide Danielle Zolkowski joins us in studio with more on what experts are saying can be done to fix this, Danielle. Yes, well, Indiana has the most miles of impaired waterways for swimming and recreation by state, according to a 2022 report. And this is concerning to Hoosiers who say it's affecting the quality of life here in the state. The Indiana Department of Environmental Management will classify a waterway as impaired for recreational use if there's a high level of E. coli, a bacteria that can cause illness in humans, or phosphorus, which can cause algae blooms. Of all the states in the country, Indiana has the most rivers and stream miles that are impaired by water pollution. This comes to over 24,000 miles impaired for recreation, or 73% of the over 33,000 miles assessed. This is according to a report by the Environmental Integrity Project. Experts say wastewater runoff comes from multiple sources, including city streets, agriculture, faulty septic systems, and other industry pollution. Both of those lead to the growth of, of algae in water systems, in rivers, and in lakes, and in reservoirs. And some of that algae, believe it or not, it can become toxic. So it produces these toxic chemicals. Poor water quality is bad for Indiana, and it reduces the quality of life. That's a matter of water quality. I mean, and, and ultimately, that's a matter of economic development. The good jobs go where the people want to live, and the people want to live where they have a high quality of life. If they can't let their kids drink their water or swim in the streams, that's an impact on your quality of life. There are solutions. For example, Freetog says Indiana could implement buffer zones between farms and waterways to help prevent erosion. Iowa has a statewide septic inspection rule. Indiana does not. In fact, Indiana has prohibited anybody from any of the counties from having a septic inspection regime. Filippelli says drinking water across the state on average is good. There's a bit of a concern for people who live on well water, though, in the rural areas of central Indiana because nobody tests the well water and we have no idea of the quality of that well water. Polluted water needs additional treatment in facilities to make it safe to drink and this could reflect in higher water bills for consumers. When looking over the report, Indiana was on the higher end when it came to keeping up with constantly assessing waterways, having checked nearly 70 percent of rivers and streams in the last six to ten years. This means the data presented showed a broader picture than some other states. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook. Danielle